It's a great pleasure for me to be here today. Sweden has a long-standing bilateral relation with Brazil and many of the other countries in Latin America. And it's positive to see that Brazil has managed to stop the economic decline and are now presenting positive numbers for economic development. Latin America as a whole has had a positive economic and social development the last decades. Poverty has been reduced and many people have a higher standard of living. But there are still challenges. Many children still live in poverty and that is why this conference is of such importance. I want to focus on trade as an instrument to create better living conditions for children, as this may not be the obvious connection for everyone. The global trading system aims at creating some of the essential conditions needed to improve children's lives and their prospects in the future. There are three flashpoints where trade and children's interests intersect. Child poverty, youth unemployment, and development in a broader context. First, child poverty. By supporting economic growth and poverty elevation, trade can be an important engine for combating child poverty and can therefore make a significant difference to children's prospects. To achieve a sustainable growth, companies need to act in a responsible way and respect international guidelines on corporate social responsibility, one of them being children's rights and business principles. These business principles have been elaborated in order for business to respect the rights of children, including abolishing child labor. The Swedish government encourages companies to let these principles guide their operations. Unfortunately, trade also involves a risk of corruption. Corruption is a global phenomenon that causes serious damage by discouraging investments and undermining economic growth, democracy, and the rule of law. Obviously, Corruption will also affect children and their lives, especially the poorest ones. Only trade without corruption will provide better living conditions for all children in a sustainable way. That is one reason why Sweden attaches great importance to transparency and anti-corruption, and why we will continue to combat corruption and promote good governance, not least through encouraging the private sector's efforts in this area. Secondly, youth unemployment. One of the most worrying effects of economic recession has been very high levels of youth unemployment. Levels have topped 50% in some countries. The effects are much more damaging than simply the loss of productive capacity. Service of young people highlight the corrosive effect that unemployment can have on their confidence and motivation as well as their view of the future. Trade can be part of the solution because one of the key differences that trade makes is through job creation. All the free trade agreements which have been and are in process of being negotiated create many jobs. But to be effective, trade reforms have to be complemented with the right flanking policies, such as education and social services to tackle youth unemployment and a stable macroeconomic policy. Thirdly, development in a broader context. Lifting children out of poverty is essential, but it's not enough. We need to be wary of the narrowness of economic measurement, such as the gross domestic product, and look at children's lives in a more holistic way. This is exactly what the Human Development Index is all about. We need to place people at the center of policymaking. Trade can help to create the conditions in which children can lead better lives by reducing the potential for conflict, helping to create a stable environment, and predictable conditions and supporting higher income levels. This supports better education and health care, such as, for example, better access to medicine. While trade is not an end in itself, it is a means to an end. Let me just end by mentioning the fine exhibition we have outside this room called Where Children Grow. It's an exhibition which characters from Swedish children books. As the author of Pippi Longstocking, Astrid Lindgren said, Good literature gives the children a place in the world and the world a place in the child. Obrigado and gracias.